Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about that DNA ancestry test girl, Nia Hope, from YouTube. Last time we went over her awkward and embarrassing reveal video, where she opened up her DNA test results live on camera. And needless to say, things didn't go as expected. Basically, Nia was hoping she had all this African ancestry, but as it turned out, she actually is pretty European, at least on her mother's side, that's for sure. I'll put a link to that original video I made below if you want to catch up. And let me go ahead and thank everyone that watched it already too. We've already got over 700,000 views on that video, so yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to do a follow-up on it now and see what's been going on with Nia Hope since then. And well, first of all, I was pretty surprised to see that Nia had actually taken down her original video. This certainly isn't the first time someone I've covered has done this. It happens quite often actually, but the big difference here is Nia's video had over a million views on it. It was one of her biggest videos and it put her on the map on YouTube, but she still took it down out of embarrassment, I guess. I guess she couldn't take the heat so she got out of the kitchen so to speak. Nothing wrong with that either, just very interesting to find out. In fact, her taking down her video is what made me want to cover this topic again. That and well, some other big things I noticed on her Instagram. You see, while Nia might have caved in and taken down her starkly anti-white video on YouTube, well, she's still struggling with the issue on her Instagram. She really didn't like it when we pointed out that her being so shocked and upset about being part European white, well, that's actually pretty offensive. And I'm sure she would say that's offensive if someone acted the same way if they found out they were black or African. And as we went over before, she's clearly a left-leaning social justice warrior type. For any of those who may have forgotten or not seen it, last time, in addition to her horribly offensive video, we also brought up this Instagram post from Nia. Here she brings up black and white photography from nearly 80 years ago in order to try and shame Americans in the present. The premise here is this. She says that there was voter suppression in the 1940s in the Jim Crow South. So that means there must be voter suppression now in 2019? Not really but we all know how much these SJWs love to time travel like this. And they really have to at this point. If they don't leap back in time, their arguments about racism in America aren't really that convincing since racism isn't really that bad here anymore. If it was, Nia wouldn't be this popular on YouTube or Instagram. She's become an up-and-comer who's getting promoted by all the top websites, but supposedly everyone's racist at the same time. Absolutely absurd. Let's go ahead and read some of the newer comments on Nia's post then, because not only were some other people making some decent points in there, but also, this DNA test girl sounds rather triggered about it, to say the least. The first comment I noticed was from someone named Benny Frost. He watched her DNA test too, and he brings up how she was offended to be white. Then Benny points out the same kinds of things I did. People like Nia would find it offensive the other way around, if the shoe was on the other foot. Next, he says, Funny how you hate white people, but you are European, and not African. I hope you change your racist Democrat views. We are all people with weird past and untold DNA history. Keep that in mind when you peddle supremacy. Well put, Benny. He also goes on to point out that it was the Democrats who suppressed the blacks back in the day, particularly during the events of 1940, which is where the picture she posted was from. The Democrats are the ones that started and led the KKK during this time. So with that said, the left-wingers are the ones you want to go after, hun, and you're really being naive about it. Regardless, Nia responded with this salty diatribe. It says, Sir, I never once said any of the above. If you're going to be mad, get mad over facts, not opinions. Try again when you have something of substance to cry about and you look less like a foot fungus. P.S. You're still making erroneous points. Never said anything about any political party. Once again, if you're trying to make a case against me, base it upon things I actually said, you moron. Well, you said there was voter suppression in America based off an old picture from 80 years ago. This is why we know you're a Democrat, Nia. You don't need to say it explicitly. You've shown it by how you act and what you say and believe. Between this bogus post and your anti-white DNA test video, I think it's pretty clear. But in case anyone was wondering or doubting the wokeness of this girl or her left-wing SJW tendencies, well, here's something else I found on this very same post. Apparently that black and white picture was only one of two pictures on this post. The other is a tweet from Sean frickin' King. That's right, the most racist, anti-white, saddest liberal asshole out there today. You don't post Sean King tweets like this seriously unless you're one of them. Unless you're a liberal and an SJW and you hate white people too, just like him. And that's not even getting to the fact that Sean King is a fake black person. He pretends to be African American to get attention and victim points, even though his parents are white and he obviously looks white. Sound kind of familiar? Well, Nia Hope herself is doing the same kind of thing. She may look the part a lot better, but she's at least half white, make no mistake. I mean, her DNA test even proved this. Despite all that though, Nia still denies her whiteness and opts to pretend she is wholly black, just like how Sean King does. You really can't make this kind of bullshit up. Next, let's look at one more hilarious comment from Nia, which shows just how silly and naive she really is. It says, no, actually I didn't.
didn't. I said it was a waste of time of money because I didn't get the results I was looking for, the one result that specific company and DNA test could provide. If I was looking to uncover my any other ancestry, I would have taken literally any other DNA test. That's what's a fact. Legit was never on the verge of tears. And because you're clearly hard of hearing and dumb, let's spell out the obvious for you. A fraction of my ancestry happens to be European, but I'm clearly black. I appreciate you obsessing over me to the point that you took time out of your day to jump from YouTube to IG to find me and put your ignorance on display though. I'm flattered. Jesus Christ, lady. This chick really is delusional. Listen, when you take a DNA test, you really shouldn't be looking for anything. You take the test and just see what background you end up having. You, on the other hand, Nia, you went in hoping to be black, but found out you're really not. At least you're not fully black and a full Wakandan, like what you had hoped. Now, I know you've taken down your video and you're trying to hide and re-spin this, but all the people who watch my channel and all 700,000 people who watch that video I made about you, we know that you were on the verge of tears. You went through almost all the stages of grief on camera. So despite your best attempts and despite you trying to pull a Sean King here and fake your background, well, that's really not going to work on us. You can say you're black all you want, Nia, but we all know you're only half. And we don't even need a DNA test to see this. Just look at yourself. You're light-skinned black in America for a reason. Nothing wrong with this either. What is wrong is you denying your whiteness and insulting the half of your genealogy which you don't like. All because being white isn't cool in current year. Basically, your anti-whiteness is showing, Nia, and it's really not a good look. Next, let's talk about her latest video before we go today. It's called Build My Bed With Me, and before we even start, things are not going well. Not only are Nia's views tanking, but the ratings on this video were very bad too. So bad, Nia chose to hide them so we can't see all the downvotes anymore. Fortunately, the comments are still up, and as you might have guessed, people are still grilling her because of that embarrassing DNA test video. But before we get to those comments though, let's check out the video for a minute and see what's up. Today I'm gonna build my bed. Here's all the pieces here. I just came in, I think like two days ago. So it's a huge king size bed, so this is gonna be a true project. But before I get into that, I need to vacuum this floor. It's covered in, um, sorry, that was my vacuum cleaner. It's covered in little like pieces of packing foam from the furniture that I built the other day that you can kind of see. Wow, this shit is really boring. Really not much to see here either. I just find it kind of funny. This girl tries to act all woke and shit and then her actual content is boring stuff like this. Making beds and designing her room. Also, if you look into things, this video was actually just made to promote her sponsor, lol.com. Nothing wrong with having a sponsor, but she made a whole video about it that she might not have otherwise. And I wonder if that bed company knows they are funding an anti-white racist and Sean King supporter. I highly doubt they'll ever send a free bed to a YouTuber like me, even though my my videos reach a far larger and more mature audience, an audience who might actually buy their products. Regardless, we could see clearly that Nia wasted no time selling out and getting a free bed courtesy of that little fame she got, all from being shocked and upset when she found out she was white. So yeah, if anyone out there watching this wants a free bed or something, all you gotta do is make an anti-white DNA test video and boom, you're sponsored and ready to go. And you'll be sleeping like a baby in no time. And this is exactly what this mattress feels like. This is my first time actually ever feeling a low mattress. The cloth on here is really soft. Not that it really matters. It's not like I'm gonna be sleeping directly on the mattress, but it is like super soft. I can't wait to throw some sheets on it and sleep in it, but I won't be able to sleep in it tonight. So yeah, you can see there's really not much going on in this video. It's basically a nine minute time lapse of some ditzy millennial chick trying to put her bed together. At first you might wonder why she made this video at all and well, it's pretty obvious by the end here. She did it so she could get a free bed and this selling out combined with her previous reputation is probably why this video is getting such bad ratings and views. Next, finally, let's look at the comments and see what the YouTube people are talking about now. The top comment on this one says, you're a beautiful white woman. Nice. Next, the second comment says, The N-word past police have arrived, ma'am. Rot row. Looks like Nia's gonna have to carefully consider her word choices in the future. Get used to walking on eggshells, girl, because you're white like me now. And finally, the third comment here says, Hello, Nia, my white sister. I hope all is well. Us white girls have to stick together. Well put, Gracie Simons. And as you might imagine, Nia Hope's comment section only gets worse from here, too. In the end, it's really hard to feel sorry for a girl like this. I would never want to send hate like this anyone's way, but you gotta 
admit, she kind of deserves it. And this is only a fraction of the hate I've been receiving for years. All because I'm someone who's bold enough to speak the truth and not sugarcoat everything. Nia, on the other hand, insulted an entire nationality of people openly, and she has yet to apologize or make amends for it at all. She's either too ashamed or too stubborn to admit she was wrong here. That's why she's chosen to hide the original video and hiding some evidence. And that's also why she continues to argue about it in the comments section to this day. What do you guys think? Is Nia Hope still salty about her DNA test? Or is she more mad that she's getting this negative backlash now? Remember, that original video was up for a good long while, and it garnered over a million views, and some might think Nia was proud of it up until recently. Once I called her out and more people started to notice how racist and offensive it really was, that's when Nia decided to pull the plug. And finally, what do you think about her aligning herself with Sean King of all people? Really seals the deal on this anti-white SJW for me. Comment your thoughts and everything below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.